I'm in Watts right now at Wilmington Avenue and 103rd Street. And I was brought here by an, a local activist who was concerned about a toxic waste site right in the middle of the community here. And the toxic waste site is a lot, again, at the corner of Wilmington Avenue and 103rd Street. Um, can you pan around to the, they paved over it, but there's benzene and other hydrocarbon alkane series pollutants abundant here. And so the activists in the area wants this site excavated to get the pollutants out so that a business can move in here. So I guess this could be considered to be a brownfields location. It's been abandoned. Now there's a church here, Mount Calvary Assembly Apostolic Faith Inc. Um, right next to the site and there's a school right across the street from this site and that is a concern of the activists that I met with here that this pollution poses a threat to the students at the school. And so what we're going to try to do is he has already contacted a number of the authorities at the state level and at the federal level. He's done his homework and so the African American Environmentalist Association will seek to assist him now in contacting the other appropriate authorities to get this site remediated so that then it can be put to productive use, the brownfield spot put to productive use and eliminate the threat to the school children. What would be your main concern as it stands now? My main concern would be that somehow the pollutants from this site can migrate over to the school whether it proposed a drinking water threat by getting somehow into the lines, even though authorities say the pressure in the lines maybe is too great, but if there's enough saturation, it can get in the lines and pose a threat to the drinking water. Um, it could also get in the air. This is just one more source. Um, evaporative um, pollution could come from it. This is already a non-attainment area. We already have a number of pollution sites, and that gets into the environmental injustice area. There's an environmental injustice to not get this site cleaned up. It's a perfectly useful site right in the middle of a productive residential area. And so there should be some amenity here for the community and for the school and for the church members. It should not be just a site sitting here fenced off where they put just a layer of um, cement over top of it, it looks like. And, um, but there's still pollution underneath. And so there's a problem. Um, it's a documented problem that the activists have documented. And so um, get the appropriate authorities in and get this site cleaned up. Remove the covering, the um, cement um, covering, and excavate the site and bring fill in, bring in clean dirt. And um, they can cover it back up and put it for some productive use. So that's why we're here today visiting the neighborhood to see if we can be of assistance in getting the site remediated. Okay? Thank you. Mount Cabri Assembly, Apostolic Faith Church, and there's a retail next to that and a nutrition store next to that. So you have retail here and you could put retail at that location if you cleaned it up properly and covered it again with um, some sort of covering. Another church on the corner. Uh, and here is the school. Residences. This is the back side of Griffin Joyner Elementary School. And there's a daycare, looks like, right across the street here. Early Education Center right across the street from the elementary school. Early Education Center. And you can see through the trees there, you can see through the trees in the playground area, the site is right across the street from there. Right across the street from where the kids come out here and play on the on the sliding boards and the sets. So that site should be cleaned up back around to the daycare center then right across from the school and the daycare center also has a play area in the back so even though that site is covered it really should be remediated with the kids this close.